There's an expression that I hear quite often in photography and other visual arts. Learn the rules so that you know when to break them. I've heard it in school and I've heard it plenty of times as Snapchick. Here's the deal. I've never understood that statement. I don't want rules. I want to do what I like. If I follow a rule, it's a coincidence. If I break a rule, I don't even want to know that there was a rule to begin with. Rules sound restrictive to me, and from a photography standpoint, follow too many rules and your photos will look just like everyone else's. Let's talk about some of the rules that I've heard about shooting portraits while I demonstrate that it's not a disaster if you break those rules or simply ignore them completely. Rule one, you need the right lighting equipment. Nope, the sun can be an amazing tool. Embrace it, feel its warmth, use it as your studio light. Rule two, you need the latest and greatest camera and lens. Nope, here's one from a $50 Fire tablet. It's not even really supposed to be a camera. Rule three, you need lots of soft light coming in from indirect angles. So many iconic portraits you've seen from old Hollywood, new Hollywood, and many others were taken with one on-camera flash. Rule four, your subject should sit still look at the camera and smile. Sitting still sounds boring. Let's bring some motion into the equation. Rule five, your subject should wear certain clothes. Only if there's some body painting involved. I may sound like I'm joking or like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not, I'm serious. I hear people agreeing with me when I talk about breaking the rules, but more often I hear what someone did wrong in a photo. The subject isn't smiling, the crop is wrong, the color is off. When in reality, the photographer may have created just what they were seeking to create. I shared some portraits in this video, some new, some from the Snapchick archives. I have one of the new images up for you all to check out at snapchick.com. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. VIPs, while you're there, log in to see a gallery of images. The ones from this video, plus many more from my time breaking the rules today. So let's wrap this up. I'm not saying that the rules I talked about are always bad. Sometimes I want my subject to sit still and smile, but my art is just that, it's my art. So if my rule breaking techniques are wrong, then I don't wanna be right.